my friends here and, and myself, we're all part of the Great Fen Archaeology Group, which I chair. There's about a dozen of us, and we meet once a month at the Great Fen's countryside classroom. Um, but during this process of cleaning, um, we were coming here in the winter, and about once every three weeks, and having a, a three-hour-long session. It was very cold. There was a cold concrete barn in the middle of the fen, so it was windy and cold. We were muffled up to the nines with our woolly hats and boots on. Um, we had three or four sessions across the winter from December through to about February on the initial bag full of bits. Um, I, ca I calculated it to be about 80 man person hours altogether. Um, most of the folk, all folks here were on the dig itself and that we found quite absorbing, it was emotional, it was, it was, it was a tremendous experience. I, I've never felt anything like it. I think because it's fairly recent, 70 years ago, we all perhaps had people in our family who were in World War II. It's, well, it's interesting, it's history, isn't it? You know, and it's, um, it's putting all these bits together at some point, or as many as we can, gives you a better idea of um, what it was like as an actual aircraft. Um, to preserve it, really, for history, as I say, it's, it's very interesting. Might not know what all the bits are, but it's nice to see it coming up and uh, cleaning up, and um, knowing that it belonged to something real that was um, an historical piece. It's actually very therapeutic. It is therapeutic. Yes, I do colouring in in the winter, and um, grooming dogs. But this is equally therapeutic. <laughs> you get into the zone, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you would think out of a bag of bits you're just dealing with metal, but you're not. You're dealing with um, instrumentation. Um, you've got things like the um, baker light that we found and the perspex. Um, but most of the stuff came out of the store. This is literally, you know, the, the final finds, but you still find things that you can, Ralph can identify, that you just think would have been lost, you know, that it's leather and the material, and, and even after all this time you still get the smell um, from the fuel tank, which is one that you, you just don't believe smell would last that long. It's a huge learning curve, I mean we all started off wondering how to work with metal detectorists and um, over the period of the days we just got more and more into it and now it's a case of seeing it through to the end because you don't want it to stop you don't want you to walk away before this is a completed job and you get nice things like it all comes up a bit shiny and you see the paint on it and you you go i've got a bit with a bit of green on it fabulous I really couldn't say how many pieces we should have worked on by the time we finished but um I know the builders' bags that we've been storing and stuff hold an awful lot, and we've had three builders' bags full of full of pieces. Besides the pieces which have gone away to um, RAF Wood to go in the Pathfinder Museum, so there's been a huge number of bits. Some of them have been um, specials cleaned at Wicking, especially big bits like the, um, the engine block. They've made a, made a fantastic job of that.